Ladies and gentlemen, it is I, Tetcher, and welcome to another episode of All In. This is a show where I pick a hero in Heroes of the Storm, pick an ability, trait, or other on said hero, and I go all in on it. Today, I am playing Diablo. It is going to be another. Ah, get it. Nice. I am playing Diablo. I'm still ill, in case you haven't noticed. But I'm going to be playing another here, and it is the full crowd control Diablo. I'm simply going to try and get into fights and cause as much chaos as possible. I also tried to colour coordinate, but these two do not match up as well as I hoped. So, we're going to start off with basically everything on Shadow Charge and Overpower as much as we can. So, we're going to start off with the Overwhelming Force, Increase, Shadow Charge, Range, and Knockback. Excuse me. So we're going to try and get away with this one, see if we can catch anyone out. Sneak in. Uh, oh, careful. Oh, there's a cloaker. I'm Diablo, I can tank a lot of this. <coughs> but not too much though, I have no souls, so I need to be careful. This is a fair warning, this is the first game I have played today. I have spent most of the day sulking about my own mortality. And stuff. Ah, crap. That ain't good. That ain't good. That ain't good. That ain't good. That's good. Come a bit closer. And the new one's gone this time. I don't know the lyrics. Let's get the get the fountain and head back in there. Why is there at all camping our lane anyway? There's a delicious, delicious. Uh, there is a seriously a delicious Kalefas and a delicious Asma down in the mid lane. That's enough. <coughs> Bloody idiot. Okay, I, I have discovered why the Zeratol was camping the lane. He is a moron. So, uh, that mystery is solved. Murky's dead. We have two Asmodans in the game. That is quite interesting. And they have a double stealth composition. How bloody fantastic for us. I'm actually just going to be back. Grab some mana. I'm not going to be there in time, but it doesn't look like anyone else is either. There we go. That's enough. And let's get over to... <coughs> Jesus Christ, that was not fun. Let's get over to that. Oh, an arcane one. I really want to get this because the arcane one, in my personal opinion, is the most annoying and I don't want to fight it. So let's get in here. I see you, Zero, but I can't get you. I don't want to be the one to activate it. We need everyone. Or at least as many as possible. Crap, we lost Kale. Oh, God. I... That's why I went for it. Get those two on the way in. Nice, our Asmodan's helping out significantly. We are still behind though. Alright, we are. We're kind of coming out ahead. Ever so slightly. Oh god, I need to protect the Falstad. Finish him, finish him, finish him, finish him. A fire stump will do it. If it was to hit him. There we go, that'll do. I need to move back. There's a little bit ahead. That's fine. Oh god, that was so many hits. I'm dead. Or not. Somehow I've, I I've alived. Somehow I survived. Knock him up, knock him up, stun him. Nice, and tower shots will get him. Beautiful turnaround there. And we got it! Oh my god, Murky, you beast! You absolute monster. Alright, <laughs> let's get back in there. Demonic strength overpower also slows. That's going to be pretty useful. Especially against people like the Nova. Really remove, uh, really lower down her escape options. Just start pushing this up with Falstad. Lovely jubbly, get my soul coward up to that wonderful 100 so I can revive quicker. Alright, so we're already at another level. Let's go with From the Shadows. Increase the stun if I tackle someone into a wall. There's a lot of walls on this map. So that's going to be pretty nice for us. I'm just going to stay behind. Block any skill shots. And get a nice fire wave off. Nice. I think he's dead again. Lovely jubbly. Why is Zeratul back up here? Why aren't you roaming Zeratul? What is your plan? Oh, that was a good blink by him. Bloody annoying for me, but good for him. Oh, Nova's here as well now. 
What the hell is this kind of roaming they're doing? Alright, I'm half health and I have a fountain. Two problems that solve each other. Or not problems, but two two factors that uh, deal with each other quite nicely. Oh, I revealed Zeratul, that's nice. You gonna get me Zeratul? Do it! Nice! Damn it, didn't get him into the wall. If I'd hit him into the wall, he might have been stunned out and died. But it's only half a second extra stun. Oh, Punisher. Oh, really? The Punisher was still alive? <laughs> Holy crap. No wonder we're a level ahead. Damn, that thing uh, didn't do much. Oh, wait, it was here. Yeah, he got, he got both towers. That's not terrible. Let's push this up a bit. Hi. This time there's a wall. There we go. <laughs> that time there was a not so much a wall, but a gate. <laughs> what? He walked into it. <laughs> That's all he did. There the Oryx a bot. I feel bad about killing him, but not too much. That's technically a wall, apparently. Oh god, I'm taking a lot of damage from that Drain Hope. I should leave. Because Nova will just kill me here. I have 100 souls, but I'm not willing to risk it. I don't have Fountain up, so it's just best for me to be. And then charge back in. Falstead's arriving, though, so that's a lot of extra damage for us. Alright, that's enough for me. I can rejoin the rest on the way. Oh, okay, with the knock up, but Nova and Zeratul together is just such a pain. Nice. Three versus two, but I am on the way, and I'm going to engage straight onto that Nova booty. Booty, 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 booty. Oh, they did it. All around the world. Where'd the real one go? It was around here somewhere. Alright, Apocalypse, of course. Because we need stuns. Protect Falstad. He will be their target when the inevitable engage happens. Oh, we lost Murky, did we? Well, he... Not what I was aiming for, but he died, so... Got him. <laughs> Worth... That's Murky's egg dog dead. Oh, hi, Leoric. Get some vision on him. That was nice. There we go. Just body block him. He had Wraith Walk, but he's a bot, so he didn't use it. Unfortunate. Your soul is mine. But not that unfortunate. Alright, let's make our way back up. We have Apocalypse now. It's going to be beautiful in these kind of areas around the places where the wonderful, wonderful shrines spawn. So we didn't get too far there. We're still a level ahead. They still haven't hit their heroics. They will in time for the next shrine. But still not bad for us at all. We're doing alright. And I still have 100 souls and I haven't died yet. Let's have a drink. Oh, I need that so much. <coughs> Alright. Nope. Oh. Three people up top at the moment. Wait, two people. Maybe three. A follow Sarah Stealth. Ooh, but damn it didn't hit the shaman. I'm gonna set I'm gonna bring the shaman into our into our house. Oh, okay. This is awkward. Come on, break. Break your shit. Oh, I'm dead. Or maybe not. Maybe not. Faster, don't you dare block me. Oh, I need to move up. I need to move up. I need to move up. Yes! Pr out predicted, son. I have escaped. And you look like a fool. Nice. Alright. Kale is soloing a Merc camp. He's been doing that a lot. It's interesting. There we go. He's getting some help now. Alright, I am back to full health. Let's head up to this. Once again, Leoric Bot is in complete vision range. Uh, Kale is being back for mana, Asbro's on the way, Murky's slowing down the EGC, so currently it's just me and Falstad. Alright, uh, ooh, no crowd control talent from this level. Come on, get him. I'm, I'm not even talking, I'm just focusing. Oh shit, protect me team! Thank you lads! I will focus on demons for a bit until Nova inevitably comes up and kills me, but by then she'll have overstepped because I'm really far forward now. Ooh, okay, that's the issue. Is that a real one? Yes, apparently. And I survived. <laughs> I survived again. Alright, let's go with Spell Shield because Nova is going to be a problem. And, uh, what is their ETC's build? 
Okay, like this is the only talent I would say, yeah, this is pretty standard on that ETC. It's pretty weird. I'm gonna go box, we have no one there, and I want XP. Zeratul's being a cheeky sod. Oh well. Asmo's chasing Asmo. One auto. One auto, one one globe. There's the globe. Nice. Got him. Good job. Murky is still annoying the ETC. <laughs> and now I am here. So we're going to stay quite a bit ahead in XP because we are in more lanes than them. And our Punisher is still very, very much alive. And we got Lyric. So yeah, we are coming out very, very far ahead here. And it's going pretty nicely. But yeah, really, no crowd control talent on this level. Just spell shield, maximum health. No, it's just extra damage. No, I, I'm very surprised. I really thought there'd be at least something uh, on that level. But it seems to be the only one without one. Like even level 20 with the uh, with dying breath. Right, I'll get a tower out of this. All right. Ooh, second or reduces the cooldown of shadow charge. I think second charge of overpower is probably the more fun one. Which, because uh, I can go slam, 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 and basically lock someone out for a long time. Let's push in. Take this down. I appear to be taking a tower for the moment. Alright, uh, we've lost vision of all enemies, so I should relocate slightly. I'm ready to I'm ready to back out what I need to. I have Apocalypse ready. And as soon as they didn't even stop with my team taking the mercenary camp, it doesn't look like they're contesting me. Alright, we've done that. Let's go help mid. Oh. Mid does not need help. Let's continue pushing bots. I was trying to be helpful to my team, and they're just winning without me. This ain't split push. I'm trying to be helpful here. And everything's dead. The Lyric's still a bot. How irritating for them. Uh, can, I, can I get this guy? I oh, know, I want to try. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, Murky got the... Got the Nova. Wrecked. Freaking wrecked. There's Nova. I'm just going to get behind the wall. Because my spell shield isn't up yet, so I don't know if I can tank it. Beautiful. Untouchable as well. Man, that was just so baited. It's also just very fun with just tackle overpower, overpower. It's a pretty long time for someone to be CC'd. Did I stop being? God's sake, what did I do? Stop this, Lyric's dead. Poor Lyric bot. Have I yet to die? I think I have. Uh, yes, I have. Me and Asmo Dan, both the only ones to not die in this entire game, I believe. Yep, so far. So I need to beat out Asperdan, I need to get Asperdan killed and have me live. That is the goal for the rest of this game. Let's see if I can make my dreams a reality. Don't let your dreams be dreams. Let's take the damage. Zeratul is trying to flee. ETC is here. Oh, there's the orc bot. No one really I can chase. There's Stelfa here, who I am going to chase. Come on. <laughs> what I need to do is to hold him still inside the Arcane Punisher's stuff, and he just evaporates there. Oh, screw you, Lyric. Nope, there, Asmodan's getting beaten up. Let's wait on this thing, then. Where's my Apocalypse? When did I use that? I guess I used my Apocalypse at some point, I didn't realise. It's only about to come up. 100 seconds. Is it only just off cooldown from the last time I actually remember using it? During that team fight? Uh, come here. Overpower. Get him. There we go. <laughs> I don't know which one to use the real one. I'm going to beat the shit out of the, all of them until the one of them is the last one standing. There we go. That's the real one. Get it. Yes! Just before it escaped. Oh, I didn't kill Asvo. Oh, well. Well. Uh, that was a short game, I apologise for that guys, but I don't think I'm going to get a long game out of this build, quite frankly. I'm either going to get absolutely wrecked because I'm not tanking, or I'm going to end games just like that. 
because that was pretty insane. Also, their Zeratul, holy crap, I feel sorry for them. Their Zeratul was, was not roaming or get, getting anything. Their Leoric was a bot. I do feel sorry for that team. So, sorry, enemy team. Uh, I apologize that this didn't really work out so well for you. So, uh, Asma beat me in literally everything. God damn it, Asma Dan. You are the superior demon. You are the Lord of Sin. I am simply the Lord of Terror. Alright, let's have a look at the talents. Overwhelming Force increases the range and knockback of Shadow Charge by 25%. Nice for those, uh, for those ganks. It's good for the good old Asmo combo, which is a... Uh, Pretty fun. However, the, the increased knockback makes it a uh, makes it a bit harder for your team to follow up because obviously you're dashing in a lot deeper. So be cautious when using this one. I personally think that Soul Feast or Devil's Dew is a bit a lot better. Soul Feast is much better. Devil's Dew, I really like that quick revive. It allows you to be very very uh, greedy around the map, and it's great on those smaller maps. Level four, the demonic strength was kind of interesting. It was good for that gank potential once again. Maybe a good combo for the uh, good old Diablo Taranda combo. Might be able to get something out of that. Otherwise, probably go for Fire Devil. Just get some extra damage out of it for the exact same reason. Just uh, it also helps you clear waves instead. Level seven, battle momentum. If you are Sham Two, he <laughs> is very much a fan of the battle momentum. Uh, otherwise, you're going with Soul Steel for that extra health bonus. You can make yourself that extra bit tanky. We were going with the from the shadows, but it's a, it's half a second. It's not really worth it. If you're going for something on the shadow charge and take devastating charge, which once again allows you to go that little bit deeper and set up the engagement for your team. Level ten. Most of the time, it should still be Apocalypse because if you can land that in a good area, then the enemy team is going to have a hard time dodging everyone else's. So any stun out of it is good. 1.5 sec, uh, a two second stun is still pretty nice for your team there. Level 13, uh, I would with Spell Shield. I'd say this is a pretty decent talent. Otherwise, probably going with the uh, the Firestorm. Firestorm is going to be pretty useful for you overall as it's a little bit of extra damage, but Spell Shield gives you, once again, that extra tankiness, and mages are still popular. Although auto-attack uh, heroes are seriously coming back with a vengeance, which is why Imposing Presence is a beautiful talent for that level 16 when you're running Diablo, because Giant Killer is massive against him, so you need to be super careful with that. Otherwise, the Continuous Overpower is actually kind of fun. A lot of people seem to take the, uh, the Rampage, but I'd say Imposing Presence is pretty useful in those situations, and in this case, it matches my skin. So that would have been pretty awesome. And finally, level 20, where Bot of the Storm's good if you're going for that kind of engage. Dying Breath, not really worth it. I'd say Lord of Terror is the best talent overall. 10% of the maximum health from air, from all nearby enemy heroes is pretty damn good. You get into the middle of that team and do that, that's 50% health overall, overall from the... Uh, well, no, stop. For, hang on, I need to add this up. 500 divided by 5 and then 10 divided by 5. It's 2% of the entire team's health, if I'm mathing that right. You should never do math when you're uh, a YouTuber or casting. That, that is the rule. Someone correct me. Someone who actually knows maths in the comment section, please correct me and tell me how, it, how much of an idiot I am. But, yeah, I'd say, uh, if also, if you're going for the lightning breath, then absolutely take Hellstorm, because it's beautiful. That extra duration on it allows you to do so much damage. But there you go. Those are the talents for my all in of Asmo. That's not Asmo Dad. Oh, Asmo Dad's the one who beat me. Of Diablo. Thank you very much for watching. I have been Tetra. If you would like to see more from this series, go to the description and you will find a link to a playlist with every all in episode to date. I'm not ill in, in, in most of them, trust me. And. If you would like to leave a suggestion for what I should play next at all in, then please go to the comment section below. Be sure to leave some alternative stuff like this, which is quite fun. Minimum of three talents to what it to what the actual build is. That's my uh, limit on it. It can't really be an all in if it's just two talents out of uh, out of seven. So uh, yeah, some control over that. Oh, eight, my mistake. But I never really get to level twenty most of the time. So yeah, seven. Uh, Tomorrow is going to be a heavy meta episode. Thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all next time.